Welcome back to Studio 701. So whether you drink soda or pop or Gatorade or water, there's more to look out for than the drink sugar content. Dr. Jade DeSmit shows us how pH values in your drinks could be impacting your teeth. We are all pretty well versed at this point in the sugared beverages and how much trouble that can cause for your teeth, right? We know that when there's lots of sugar in your drinks, you can oftentimes end up with a lot of cavities. But one other thing to think about and something that's been getting a little more attention recently is actually the acidity in your beverages too and how that can damage your teeth. Uh, beverages that have more acid in them will actually allow the enamel inside your mouth to break down. And if that enamel is breaking down, then obviously you're also more susceptible to cavities. It can also make your teeth more sensitive too. What kind of drinks have, you know, those higher uh, acidic levels? Well, do you have a guess first? <laughs> I <laughs> see some be. with you. I have my groups here. <laughs> yeah, the pop. So we have a couple of sodas, um, a couple of sports drinks, and some waters. If you had to guess, what do you think would be the most acidic of these groups? I would definitely go with the, uh, the pop. All right. So I have, a, I have a special test strip here. Okay. That'll show us our uh, pH on these. So with pH, uh, it's one of these things that when we measure it on a scale, the lower the number, the more acidic it is. Oh. And on my test strips here, the closer we are to a red, that's lower, so more acidic. If it's close to a green, that's about neutral. And then if we go into like a blue or a purple, that would be less acidic or more basic. So here's a Coke. Just see what color that is when it comes oh. out. Immediately red. Yeah. Immediately red. Okay. <laughs> Immediately no. Right? <laughs> right. Red means Just in stop. case we were wondering if diet is better. <laughs> I've got one of those too. Oh, that's interesting. Diet? Oh uh, my, no. Yeah. That almost looks orange. Yeah, we're a little in the orange there. So um, the Journal of the American Dental Association actually did a really nice study where they lab tested the pH values. Obviously this gives us a kind of broad look at how acidic we are, but they did some more specific values. For Coke, that pH is 2.37, and for Diet Coke, it's 3.1. Mm. Um, we also know that anything under three would be considered extremely mm. erosive to the teeth and can actually wear away the enamel all on its own without any sugar involved. Um, but anything below 5.5, can start the initial breakdown of enamel. All right, here's our blue Gatorade. This is actually Gatorade Zero, or, or a Powerade, excuse me, Powerade mm -hmm. Zero. And now we're doing the vitamin water. And the water. vitamin water zero. Okay. Wow. Um, does that surprise you at all, or no? You know, I, it did surprise me a little bit Okay. when I first read about these, because we, especially as dentists, we know what a soda habit can do to teeth. We see mm -hmm. that all the time. Um, but a lot of times people are trying to make healthier choices, like you mentioned, and choosing a, a Powerade Zero or a Vitamin Water Zero feels like a healthier choice. It just doesn't mean that it comes without consequences completely. Let's see where we're at here. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Not red. Not okay. red. <laughs> Most flavors of the bubbly come in right around four. Okay. So we're not as bad as the sodas and the sports drinks, <laughs> but we're not quite to that neutral pH. Mm -hmm. We can still have some enamel breaking down with the carbonated waters. In general, the carbonated waters have more acid in them than like a flat water. Mm -hmm. One thing I will also mention that not all bottled waters are equal, even <laughs> when you're talking a flat water. Smart water is about 6.5. They actually have on their label that it's pH balanced and it does come much closer to neutral. Okay. Aquafina, I have it written down for myself so I don't get it wrong, 6.1. Okay. Okay, and a Dasani is a 5.0. Oh, that is so interesting. Right? It really so Dasani makes actually you... comes below that 5.5 threshold and can allow for some breakdown of the enamel in your teeth. What are ways to maybe, you know, help so that uh, we're building on our enamel in our teeth? Absolutely. So obviously it doesn't mean Never drink anything, <laughs> right? Stay hydrated for sure. Um, if you're drinking something that has a lower acidity, it is always helpful to drink it all at once rather than doing a slow sip throughout the day. Your saliva is made to buffer the environment inside your mouth, so it will get you back to a neutral environment, but it takes about 30 minutes for that to happen. 
So if you take a sip of your drink and things are acidic in there, and then 15 minutes later you take another sip, and then 15 minutes later you take another sip, your mouth never has a chance to get back to that neutral pH. So drinking it all at once, mm -hmm. say with a meal, would actually be better than taking slow sips throughout the day in between meals. Mm -hmm. yep. Obviously, brushing your teeth, yep. rinsing your mouth, keeping things clean is helpful too. And then making sure you're using a, a product with fluoride in it. Fluoride is the one thing we have that will remineralize enamel. So using that in your toothpaste, in your mouth rinse. Uh, if you know you're somebody that has a lot of acidic contact with your teeth, asking your dentist about having a fluoride treatment or having a high fluoride toothpaste, something like that can help you as well. And Dr. DeSmith mentioned that tap water in Bismarck and Mandan has an excellent pH balance and you may consider fluoride treatments to help your enamel. There are three Prairie Rose Family Dentist locations in Bismarck and Mandan. Also for the month of March only, Prairie Rose Family Dentist is running a teeth whitening special at their south location. You can call 701-223-1194 to get more information and to set up an appointment today. It's pretty interesting stuff. Very. Uh, but coming up next, we get to hear another performance from